OK, so we've got three more planes. Uh, we need to work out what's going on behind the scenes. What do they look like? Um, do they intersect or do they don't? OK. Um, right. So first thing, let's have a look at the normal vectors. So we've got 1, 1, 1 for the first one. We've got uh, 2, minus 1, 1 for the second one. And we've got 1, 1, 1 for the third one. OK, so you can see clearly, because these normal vectors are the same for the first and third one, that we have two parallel planes. So if I number them, 1 and 3 are parallel planes. They're not the same plane because they've got a different value on the end, the 1 and the 2. So they're lying one on top of the other. OK, so we've got two parallel planes. And this one, OK, isn't parallel to them. So we know that we don't have three uh, parallel planes sitting on top of one another. Um, so actually, what we've got, if we look side on, is we're going to have these two parallel planes, uh, equations 1 and equations 3, or plane 1 and plane 3. OK, and we're going to have plane 2 intersecting these two. OK, but there, is no po there are no points in common to all three. And so there are no solutions to this. OK, the three planes are not intersecting at any common point. Um, and so that is the geometrical interpretation going on behind the scenes.